Chris, what is our third main topic today? This comes from Edison Wright. Good day, John and team. I wanted to write in and ask just how happy you are with Arcane winning Best Animated Series at the Emmys. I know you've said you think Arcane is your favorite animated series of all time. It beat out Marvel's What If, Rick and Morty, and The Simpsons. Do you think this is just the first of many? I feel like it could be the animated answer to Game of Thrones. What do you think? Thanks a lot for writing that in, Edson. I, I don't even know what to say about Arcane. Like, it, again, it is one of these shows, these pleasant surprise things where I had no interest in watching it. It's, you know, the thing based on a video game. It's going to be trash. It's just going to be something to to kind of pander to the people who play the video game. It's, it's not going to be anything really good. Then I heard a couple of people say, John, I think you might want to watch this. And so, all right, I sat down and right from the first episode, I was floored. And by the time the final episode ended, I remember saying to myself, this is the best animated show I have ever seen. I'm not saying it's the best animated thing. Like if you take movies into account, I'm not saying that. But as far as animated series go, I don't think anything has ever come out that was this high quality. Visually, it has a very interesting fun, dynamic look to it, yes, but it's the story. And the way you put it, Edson, is, is exactly on the nose. It's a very Game of Thrones kind of feel to it, the intrigue going on with everything, like even right up to when, you know, the one girl's mother, the warrior queen, shows up, and it's like this, and then they go deep into her character, and like everybody, and like Victor has this incredible subplot going on, and like all of them have all this incredible stuff going on in this incredibly imaginative world. Well, anyway... This comes to us from the folks over at Deadline who write the following. Call it the third time's lucky. Netflix has finally won Best Animated Program at the Emmys with Arcane picking up the award at the Creative Arts Ceremony. It marks the first time that a streaming show has picked up the award. It beat Bob's Burgers, Rick and Morty, The Simpsons, and Chadwick Boseman's voiced What If in the hotly contested category. Other streaming contenders in the past have included Netflix's Big Mouth and BoJack Horseman. Arcane co-creator Christian Link picked up the award. Thank you. Uh, this, it's a big deal for us as we come from video games. It's been amazing to see the world embrace our characters and our stories. So thanks to Netflix who believed in us from the beginning. I will tell you this. Like some people will say, well, it's kind of a no-brainer that arcane was going to win this and i think that's far from the truth like i really believe that this is going to be one of those shows that was going to go unnoticed but i'm really thrilled to see that it get now granted i get it it won the award against the simpsons what if and uh brick and, and morty, morty. Uh, and bob's burgers okay this, this this wasn't in competition against yellowstone or succession i get it but it's still nice to see every once in a while and it's all subjective but from my subjective point of view, it's always nice to see the right show win. And to me, this is the right show. And I'll tell you what, if they can get this thing off the ground for season two and gets, and if Netflix allows it to have a season three or four, this can become a legacy show. I really, I believe that. I believe this could be like Game of Thrones in the sense that every year at the Emmys, you might as well just start filling out the winner is Game of Thrones, the winner is Game of Thrones. You might as well just start filling out the winner is Arcane, Arcane, because I think it's got that kind of quality. Anyway, Rob, you hear about this? Did the right show win? And what are your thoughts on that? Oh, I, you know, like you, I turned the show on for the first time. And obviously, I was working on Dota Dragon's Blood, which is right. more traditional animation. But you can stream right now. Which you can stream right now along on Netflix, um, also based on a video game. But when I turned this on, you know, there's a little healthy competition, but it's clear from the first episode, like you said, this is an incredible animated series. I mean, you're captivated in the first few moments to watch this. The animation, the style of it is so different and it's so absorbing and you're so drawn in. And it is it is an outstanding, it's not just, if this was a live action show, it would be outstanding. I mean, this is an outstanding. An expensive outstanding yeah, show. Yeah, very, very <laughs> but, but this is a truly triumphant work of animation and it looks different than anything on tv i i i really love this show john and and i, I don't know if i would say it's the bet my favorite animated series of all time but it's an incredible animated series and they deserve all of the accolades that they're getting and i i hope that it makes it makes netflix you know they sort of cut back on their animation i hope maybe they'll maybe move forward with more stuff mm -hmm. like this tell you jonathan just a minute ago had a image of jinx up who, I mean, a lot of people refer to her as, as the perfect mixture of Harley Quinn and the Joker into one. But what makes that character so great is the heartbreak 
nature of that character. Mm -hmm. Her story is a story of tragedy. Yeah. And when you go back to watch the first couple episodes, they lay that groundwork that your heart just breaks for her and her older sister. Oh, it's just so good. Anyway, Chris, you hear about this. What are your thoughts on it? Oh, I love this so much. Um, well, and Netflix really has become the place for animation, though. I mean, they are constantly putting out really, really high caliber stuff. The work they had with Klaus, um, which is one of the most stunning animated things ever. Uh, the work they have here, all the DreamWorks properties they're bringing into play, their work mm -hmm. they did for Voltron. This is where animation is going to go, and I hope more creators bring their properties to Netflix and that Netflix keeps welcoming in animation. I really, really love what our friend Edison says here, though, about could this be the equivalent of Game of Thrones or the answer to Game of Thrones in animated format? Yes, it could. And I'm glad you use those terms because medium and genre does not determine merit. And that is something that animation mm. faces constantly. You've talked about this with the Best uh, Animated Film Award, right? I kind of feel the same way when it comes to all these other awards with Emmys and things, too. I think Arcane is on caliber with some other shows out there. I mean, maybe, is it a succession? Maybe not. But I think we need to start viewing these things for what they are, quality storytelling properties, not just animated films and treating animation like it's a lesser thing, because it's not. There's really, really great creative work happening here and really bold, exciting stories are being told. And this is the kind of stuff that most people want to be seeing. People who are doing casting out of Blizzard, you know, I know that's video games, but Andrea Toyas is always talking about how she wants you to sound like a Game of Thrones character, and that's the caliber of acting she wants from you. So that's really, really exciting to me to see shows like this that are delivering that kind of caliber. All right, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? I'm very happy about it, obviously. Arcane wins the Emmy for Best Animated Show. I, I kind of think it should be in the running for Best Show, period. Mm -hmm. But it is what it is. What do you guys think? Have you watched Arcane? Do you love it? Maybe it's not the show for you. Whatever your thoughts are, jump into the comment section below and leave those thoughts there. Guys, we want to take a second and thank one of the sponsors of today's video, DraftKings. Now, guys, you know I am a huge sports fan. And football fans, the first Sunday of the NFL season is here, and DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL, is giving new customers a can't-miss offer to celebrate the return of the NFL season. Right now, new customers can bet just $5 and get $200 in free bets instantly. And, as an added bonus for Week 1, everyone can experience the thrill of DraftKings' early win promotion. It's simple. Bet on an NFL team to win, and if your team leads by 10 at any point during the game, you get paid instantly even if your team goes on to lose. So download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now and use the promo code Campia to get $200 in free bets instantly when you place a $5 bet this Sunday. That's promo code Campia only at DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Minimum age and eligibility restrictions apply. See the show notes for details.